friends, welcome back to my channel and welcome if you are new. So today I am back with another wig review and this is another affordable wig uh, option that is out there. And this is a beauty that I have on today. This is actually from the Ebony Line website and I just love their wig pieces. Like they are so gorgeous. They're so different, so on trend, and I just love them. So this is a free tress band full cap, and the style is called Bally Girl. And it the color is TT27. Now, here there's a picture of the stock card. Now, I don't know um, if their color codes come with names or not. I don't think they do, but... I wanted to pick this one up because of the like bronzy kind of golden uh, blonde, maybe if you will, bronze highlighting that runs through this. Um, as you can see, the root is very dark and it comes down quite a bit. So if you are not into dark rooting on wig pieces, um, you might want to stay away from that. This may be one of the lightest pieces, but there might be some other ones where like the light, uh, you know, highlighting comes closer to the cap, if you will. But anyway, I love this color. I, one thing I will say is I do wish these like bronzy tips or highlights ran more up through here, but um, I can live with it. I don't think it looks actually too bad. The one thing I will say on this is that it is a basic cap, which is totally fine. Sometimes I end up liking those more um, because, you know, for sure, if you have a bang and a fringe like this one, you don't need a lace cap. Um, and then also, you know, it does blend in with your natural hair. You could pull some of your bio hair out of this and kind of blend it in. But yeah, for this style, I really don't mind that at all. Um, what I am having an issue with are these bangs and the fringe. I cannot figure out how they lay. Like this picture, like it, it looks nothing like her style. Now I will say maybe she has cut the bangs. That could be. But these bangs are longer than what she has. So I'm still trying to play around with that a bit. Um, also, and it does look like that her highlighting, you know, goes through the bang. Now I know this is a, this stock color is a different color than what I have. So um, that's a, one thing I'm a little disappointed in. But when you look at these bangs, I mean, if you get them to lay right, they do kind of have the coloring that goes you know, up closer to the cap. So I don't know, maybe this just takes a little bit to play with. But another weird thing, <laughs> and you can see it a little bit in this picture, but I, okay, I love these like layered wispy pieces, right? This like 80s, 60s, 80s, you know, kind of feathered look. What I'm not getting is this here like these curls. I'm going to spin around so you can see this from outside. So this is the side and you can see that it's, you know, curly. There's the back. And the side. So I'm not really understanding that either. Um, so this is, like I said, this is a basic cap. Here is the parting. Now it's one of those, you know, fake scalp kind of things. What I also might try to do is pluck this a little bit more to make it look a little bit more natural there. Um, but I did have a little clip that actually I was using to keep these bangs um, out of the way a little bit. I mean, you could do an updo a half up, half down kind of deal. If you don't mind the, um, you know, cap showing, you might have to play with that a little bit. But um, yeah, so that is something that I'm going to have to play with as well. Um, 
what else can I say on this? Oh, so I did, you, at the end of this video, there'll be a video of me taking this out of the box and playing with a limit. Now, see how this is starting to contour here? I'm digging that. Like, I'm really digging that. If I could get these bangs trained um, a little bit, I think this would be okay. This side here is a little bit weird. You know, I'm not sure what that is supposed to do. And it doesn't seem like it should go over like that because it just doesn't lay that way. So you might have to uh, contour that side as well. I have another wig piece, I think from Polly Young, that's a longer uh, style with longer bangs. And, and it does the same thing. I can't remember the name of that. If it was Ashley or Heidi or something, it could be Heidi. So I'm going to get my hair dryer out here and I am going to shoot this a little bit with, um, some heat. This is heat safe. Um, up to 195 to 210 Fahrenheit. So that's not very hot, but I'm going to use, so this is just my conditioning water spray. And then this is some, uh, Tresemme sea salt spray. And I'm just kind of, kind of squirt this here and see if I can start making some sort of a contour uh, with these bangs. Okay, so just for the sake of the video and the length, um, I'm not going to spend too much more time on that. But it does seem like it would work to kind of contour that a little bit. Now, what I also might do is just kind of... Um, see, it's kind of cute when you just get these kind of laying right. The bangs just kind of separate a little bit, uh, but if you get those trained to lay right, it's not too bad. But this is a cute style. Like, I love it. I'm not sure of the length of this. Um, I will post, obviously, the link to the piece down below. And I do have another color that I purchased. Um, it is more... I don't I think it's a it's the highlight is darker but it still has the darker bangs here or the uh rooting and it's more of like a uh it's more of like a highlighted color all throughout but this is gorgeous I mean other than the weird little things that you know obviously you can play with I don't know if people you know like to do those kind of things I am not too you know, I don't get too hung up on things like that. Um, but if you could modify this how you would like, um, this could be a cute piece. Like, I really like this. I love the color. The one, I mean, and I can work with everything, even the parting. Like, I'm, like I said, I'm going to pluck that a little bit. But this here is just so weird to me. Like, I don't understand why there's curls there. You know, like, I just don't get it. But it's not bad. Like I said, the color is cute. This piece, I think I paid 20 bucks for on um, the Ebony Line website because they had a sale going on. So at the end of this video, I will uh, post the out of the box of this piece as well as the other one 
um, that is just like this in, in a different color. And it's really hard to go outside these days to do um, outdoor shots of what they look like because it's winter here in Minnesota and it gets so dark so quick. And then, you know, when you're at work all day, you can't, you know, get outside. But um, I will try to post some pictures outside of this. It may not be with this uh, video. But I will do a follow-up to this um, so you can see what this looks like outside. So hope this information was helpful for you. Like, share, and subscribe. And hold tight to see the out-of-the-box of this piece. Um, like I said, it's got a basic cap. Uh, there are combs. And it has uh, hook adjusters. So a uh, very basic cap, which is you know why it was such a great price point. But stay tuned and you will see an out-of-the-box of this piece as well as the other color that I bought as well, okay? Take care and Happy New Year and have a great day. Bye-bye.